Good day everybody and welcome back to the 2021 Nest Box season. We join Biddy here going through her incubation. And if you're only joining us, Biddy is one of our blue tits that we're following in this Nest Box series. She has a clutch of 5 eggs and she's been incubating them for 4 days now. And I've mentioned that it's actually quite a small clutch. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, as less mouths to feed means less food that is needed to be brought in for them all to survive. And once these eggs hatch, it's all going to be a go for Biddy and Miley. They're going to be busy gathering food. And we can see Miley here feeding Biddy, and that's surely a good sign that he's going to be a good dad and be able to bring lots of food in, as he's been bringing in plenty of food for Biddy. And I've had of quite a few people in the comments and messaging me asking about this behaviour as they don't see it in some of their own blue tits. And indeed, every blue tit is different. You can see him feeding her here again. And it's lovely to see, but every male is different. Some males do it more than others. Some males wait until the chicks and then they start feeding loads. So it's always different and it always depends on the bird. And if you've been watching, you've known that we have a second nest. And I've promised you some serious nest building from this bird, and indeed she doesn't disappoint. But unfortunately, not on the 28th. She only visited once throughout the day. So the following day on the 29th, we see Biddy here getting breakfast in bed. And this really is the height of activity in the Biddy and Miley nest. As this is the calm before the storm, this is where nothing really is happening for us to watch too much as Biddy is really just incubating her lovely little clutch of six. But thankfully we have a second nest to keep us entertained during these quiet times of incubation. And I did promise you some serious nest building from that nest. So as Biddy settles down for that day, what happened in the other nest box that day? Well, we see them arrive bright and early, and there is indeed a huge amount of work done this day. And I had mentioned we needed a name for these, and I've got plenty of suggestions and ran a small poll on Facebook, and we have a winner. So I'd like to introduce you to Mork and Mindy. So this is Mindy, our female bird, and she's going to be known as Mindy from now on. And the male bird of this pair is going to be called Mork and I want to thank everyone who threw in the suggestions. I ran a poll for the first five and this came out the winner. And as luck would have it, it was actually Deirdre who named uh, Mork and Minnie this year and it's the same Deirdre that was with us last year and named Biddy and Miley. So thank you Deirdre for sticking with us for the whole year. I also want to thank everyone else who threw in suggestions. I personally love uh, interacting with you and it's great to see that people are interested in the birds that are just happen to be nesting in my back garden so thanks as always and we get back to Mork and Mindy building their nest. So after being absent on the 28th Mindy came back in on the 29th and she was making up for lost time. She was really getting into her nest building and bringing in a huge amount of material. And she's a much more tidier board than Biddy. Biddy is a scruffy looking board at the face and indeed getting scruffier as the days go on. I am actually worrying a little bit about her health. But we can see Mindy here is a fine looking bird and she's quite a big female. When the male pops in Mork beside her every so often, there's not a huge size difference. And speaking of Mork, Mork is gearing up to be quite a reliable male. He's been bringing in tons of food for Mindy right from the get-go. Which is great to see as it's a good indication that he'll be able to find loads of food for the coming chicks. And Mindy is doing most of her work in the morning hours between 9, 10, 11 o'clock. But then always pops in in the evening as well at around half five or so. You can see her in here now. And she kind of does her last finishing touches before the end of the day. Which brings us to the 30th. And we see Biddy here getting up. And she does this every morning. She gets up and takes a short little flight out of the nest box. And hopefully gets some breakfast for herself. And if not, well Miley is there to cater her every need. 
I did mention earlier that I was getting a little concerned for Biddy's feathers. And that is true. I have seen on other nest box series and other nest boxes in the past the male birds may be losing their head feathers. But I haven't seen it in females and indeed not around the facial area. So it's interesting to see and I hope it doesn't reflect bad health. And if indeed anyone has some insight on that that knows a little bit more about that than me, please share it in the comments. I would love to know. So over at Mindy and Mork's, we see Mork just feeding Mindy there. And she started her day bright and early and she gets to nest building straight away. I know I've said it a few times now, but just look how different the facial features of that bird is compared to Biddy. It really is amazing how two different birds of the same species can be so different. And Mindy seems to be in quite a rush to get this nest built. She does a lot of work. And with only being moved in on the 27th, Mindy has done a huge amount of work in three days. And you can see the, her progress already. And this nest has never been used in the last five or plus years. So why now? I have a theory that maybe she was planning to nest elsewhere and perhaps got disturbed and pushed off that nest site as it was a late take to the nest box. And that's why it's never too late to put up nest boxes when you have them. If you're gifted one late in the season, put it up because the sooner it's there, it is there for next year, even if it's not used this year. So what can we expect of Mark and Mindy in the coming days? Well, we can see her, she's going to build her nest by the looks of things very fast. And she's going to want to get those egg lays laid as soon as possible. So we're going to see, I think, Mark and Mindy go super fast and try to catch up with where Biddy and Miley are at, where the nested season is concerned. And a lot of people were asking, how close or far are these nest boxes apart? So one is in the tree in the back garden and one is on the side of the house at the front. And some of you rightly pointed out that why are two pairs of blue tits catering each other in the same area? Well, if you remember earlier in the season, Biddy and Miley weren't letting any blue tit pair near their nest box or indeed near the garden or front garden or anywhere in the area at all. There was a zero tolerance to other blue tits. But as soon as Biddy started incubating her eggs and she had to take the eye off the ball in the sense of being territorial because she had eggs to incubate and her, the beginning of her family to take care of. So maybe Mark and Mindy took that opportunity to hone in on this nest site that they were planning on using. That is another theory of mine. Again, all of this is only speculation. And I've mentioned before that even in the past I've seen, not in my own nest boxes but in others, that blue tits sometimes even share nest boxes. I would imagine this is when an area is overpopular, populated with blue tits and there's a lack of nesting sites. But I've seen two females lay their eggs in the one nest and have a clutch of something like 15 to 17 eggs. Wouldn't that be a story to tell? But I'm going to leave it here, folks. We've got Mork and Mindy here, or Mindy, should I say, building her nest. And she kind of leaves it at on the 30th at around half two during the day and decides that few hours of nest building is enough. So what do we expect to see coming in a few days? Well, Mindy does not slow down and she really kicks it up a notch in the nest building as well. This bird just is on a mission. And we will be continuing to monitor Biddy, which is who is roughly just over halfway through her incubating period. So, as always, I will leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.